To reach out to education, Europeana Space developed the Europeana Space MOOC. The MOOC targets several audiences. First of all, the general public, where we had in mind students and teachers in particular. GLAM and uh, cultural heritage professionals and also developers. It's not a typical MOOC, it is not based on university lectures. On the other hand, the MOOC is integrated in current university courses. The MOOC also allows for verified certification and students enrolled at the university can obtain credits for this course. You see it here on the edX KU Leuven X portal where it is accessible for everyone. It involves a lot of real practical skills using the tools developed in the project. The modules contain uh, some reading, some lectures, video clips and then assignments where you can really test the Europeana space tools and APIs and environments and then some quizzes and, as usual, forum discussions. Here are the example of photography, where uh, students were invited to create their own stories with Europeana material. In the open and hybrid publishing, open materials were also remixed into new creative experiences, as you can see here from student work. The museums module uh, targets GLAM professionals and shows them the museums toolkit that we developed and the Blinkster app. While the dance module focuses on analysis of dance uh, done with the environments developed in Europeana space. And of course, intellectual property rights are very important for the cultural entrepreneur and this is why there is a separate module for this, as well as one on creative marketing your ideas to the audiences. We did have an exit survey on this MOOC, which gave us some very valuable inputs and uh, very positive reactions. In particular, uh, for the high quality and level of the forum discussions, uh, which can be explained by the advanced degree of participating users. And there were about 1000 users in this first run. And also, as usual for MOOCs, uh, the learners are in majority post-university age. Uh, a very standard uh, gender distribution and we attracted students from all over the world, not only throughout Europe, but also the US and India, for example. Now, what did work uh, according to the students? Well, the very interesting and useful content, hmm? the self-paced nature of the MOOC and the freedom to choose uh, what modules you want to follow and of course the mix of uh, tests with the assignments involving the real tools that we developed. Mm. Uh, but of particular value also to us was the diversity of the participants. Mm. Uh, and this brought us some testimonies that we like to share with you. Uh, you see that uh, there was a uh, definite enthusiasm for this learning experience involving open uni uh, Europeana content. Now your chance to experience this firsthand is not over. Hmm? We will relaunch this course each academic year for the next five years at least. Thank you for your attention.